PlayStation 4's firmware update 4.5 is nearly upon us, which this time means a host of tweaks and improvements to PS4's appearance and usability. Here's a look at the key highlights. 12 things you need to know about firmware 4.5. Number 1. Support for external hard drives is here. This is huge for anyone who's ever had to make a decision about which game to delete in order to make room for a new arrival. As well as upgrading your internal hard drive, now update 4.5 means you can use an external USB storage device, as long as it's more than 250 gigabytes and less than 8 terabytes. It'll need to be newly formatted, which means all data on the drive will be deleted, USB 3 compatible and connected directly rather than through a USB hub. And the upshot is you'll be able to play games directly from the drive as though they were installed on the PS4 itself. And when you're done, the easiest way to disconnect the device is through the quick menu, like this. Number 2. You can now make custom wallpapers using in-game screenshots, which is exactly as cool as it sounds, especially if you're playing something with a photo mode. It's easy to do too, you can simply head into settings, then themes, then wallpapers, or you can do it from the options menu of a screenshot in the capture gallery. Only screens in the capture gallery can be used. And then bingo, loads of pretty images to make your PS4 background look beautiful and unique. And while we're talking about making your PS4 look nice, let's quickly mention number 3, which is the new ability to choose a colour theme to go along with your custom cover image if you're using one. Just head into your profile options here and your PS4 will suggest between 2 and 6 colours to complement the cover image you're using. Fabulous! Number 4. Custom Posts in the What's New section with update 4.5, players can now create custom posts about anything they want and share them directly to PS4. Head to the top of what's new and you can use this dialog box to write messages, share screenshots and tag other players and games. You'll also be able to share to activities from within the share menu like this, rather than going through a third party social network like Twitter. Number 5. Quick Menu Improvements The quick menu that pops up when you hold down the PS button has been tweaked so the first layer of navigation now folds away neatly when you move to the second layer, leaving more of the game screen visible. And more importantly, number 6, there are enhanced party features in the quick menu, so you can manage your party using the menu without transitioning to the party app. This means creating, joining and inviting players to a party, as well as things like adjusting your audio settings and sending friend requests to other party members. Best of all, when you create a party from the quick menu, it deals with all the naming and other options automatically so you can get back to your game as quickly as possible. Number 7. You can now watch 3D Blu-rays using PlayStation VR, which is basically exactly how it sounds. A way for PSVR owners to watch 3D Blu-rays even if they haven't got a 3D TV. It's hard to show the inside of PlayStation VR so you have to make do with this shot of Rob looking pleased with himself. And while we're here, we should also mention number 8, which is the fact that PlayStation VR cinematic mode has been improved with increased screen image quality for a clearer picture. Number 9, update 4.5 allows you to access your saved game data directly from the home screen, making it much easier and quicker to upload and download your progress. Number 10, you can post animated GIFs created in Share Factory. Currently, these are only viewable in your capture gallery or on Twitter, but with the new update, GIFs like these can now be viewed in places like What's New, your activity feeds and on community walls. Number 11, talking of Share Factory, it's now possible to boot directly from viewing a clip in your capture gallery straight into Share Factory, instead of launching the editing app and then having to search for your clips. This is one of a number of improvements coming with a new version of the editing app that's being released alongside firmware 4.5, which also include the ability to import videos and images from USB, scalable text, clip cloning and loads more. And finally, number 12, PS4 Pro gets a new feature called Boost Mode. This feature has been designed to provide better performance for legacy titles that have not been patched to take advantage of the PS4 Pro's faster CPU and its faster and double sized GPU. This can provide a noticeable frame rate boost to some games with variable frame rates and can provide frame rate stability for games that are programmed to run at 30Hz or 60Hz. Depending on the game, the increased CPU speed may also result in shorter load times. Keep in mind that boost mode is not guaranteed to work with all titles. Turning the setting off will allow the game to be played in a mode that replicates the standard PS4. You can turn on the boost mode from the PS4 settings menu, go to settings, then system, then scroll down to boost mode and tick the box to turn boost mode on. 
Thanks for watching. Have fun with PlayStation 4's new update and subscribe for everything else from the world of PlayStation.